Searching for the perfect red lipstick can be challenging. Finding one that can stand the test of time? Daunting. That's why we sent beauty expert Brittany Gray on the hunt to find unique formulas and perfect red shades for three different women. We decided to use our own City Line experts. I love this. And welcome. Welcome, Britt. Good Thank to see you, you in the studio. It is so good to be back. It is so good to have you back. So, uh, yeah, let's talk reds. Like, okay. it, it's tough to find a good red that's going to last yes. you a long time. Yes. Yeah, so, I went on the hunt because. Most red lipsticks end up at the bottom of your makeup bag. I don't know if you're right. like me, but it's a shade that I pull out around the holidays, and then it's a little bit tricky to wear right. throughout the rest of the year. So I wanted to find two really accessible price points when it comes to the red lip, mm -hmm. and then one a little bit more elevated. So the first one is actually for Marilyn Smith, nice. whom, whom we love. Yes. And it is the Maybelline Superstay sort of long wear liquid lip. Mm -hmm. And um, it's in the shade Individualist, and it's a really fun sort of like orangey red color. It's definitely more warm, but I thought it would look fantastic, fantastic on Marilyn's sort of like fair skin tone to really brighten up her face. It's just a really great matte. It kind of feels moisturizing as you wear it. I have so many of those Maybelline mattes because I so love good. them and I tell Grace yes. Lee that all the time. So should we take a look at how Marilyn Smith felt Let's about it? Let's do it. Let's take a look. I'm testing out red lipstick because I'm going to the CCMAs, the Canadian Country Music Awards, and we're going to see how long this red lipstick lasts. Okay, so the awards are still 2021 running. was absolutely lipstick. packed with solid country albums and thanks to these people. Take it. Oh, yeah. the still Jesse Frazier, Brett Kissel, Bart McKay. Back from the CCMAs, four hours, mask on, mask off, eating, drinking, and the lipstick is still kind of there. I'm going to give this a thumbs up. Okay, thumbs up. Affordable yes. and long-lasting, and Marilyn looked absolutely incredible. So that's that's she good. Did. Yeah, she did. And the thing is, is a lot of these lipsticks, they have this promise, like 16-hour wear, 8-hour wear. The truth is, that's only going to happen if you quite literally sit and don't eat, don't drink, don't talk, yeah. don't lick your lips. Mm -hmm. um, so I think that lasted pretty well for her, and she kind of had like a light stain at the end of it. She did. Yeah. She still had a little bit hanging on, right? She did. Okay, what have you got for us next? All right, so the next one is actually for Julie Miguel. Yes. And I wanted to go with kind of like that classic Hollywood red for her. Mm -hmm. She's got that gorgeous sort of olive undertone to her skin. And yeah. this is really a shade that I think anybody can pull off. This one is by Rimmel. It's the lasting finish lipstick. And it's just such a comfortable wear, but it doesn't last as long unless you do some steps, which we'll talk about later, to make it really stick around. Okay. Um, love this one. Okay, how did Julie Miguel feel about wearing it? Should we find out? I think we should. Let's take a look. All right. <laughs> Never worn cuddled lipstick probably in my life. I'm gonna put some chapstick on first. Let's see how this goes. Now I need a little bit more makeup and to fix my hair just to make this look right. Okay, ready to start my day. Let's see how long this lasts. Okay, I just ate breakfast and it's still on. Sweet. Okay, so over four hours later, it looks like it's completely gone, but I've also had lunch and put together like an entire IKEA cabinet and also drank a coffee, so not surprised by that. Well, it was obviously putting together that Ikea cabinet. Took the lips right, right off of her. Very interesting. You say there's something she probably shouldn't have done. Yes. Yeah, so the error in her application is that she applied the balm before the long wear lip. Yeah. So you have to do that the evening before or if you have a couple hours before your event, you can treat the lips. But putting that on right before you put on your lipstick is going to completely change the formula and it's going to slip off as quickly as a balm would. Right. Yes. Okay. So very interesting. You got her into a red though. She, she looked fantastic. She looked red. fantastic like, in it, and that's not it. her thing at all. No. So good she on you. She should rock it more often. Okay, so next. Yes, okay, so this one is for Vivian K, and yeah. this one is the more elevated choice. So this is the lipstick if you are somebody that wears it on a regular basis. It's mm -hmm. kind of around like the $32 mark, so mm -hmm. a bit more of an investment piece when it comes to a lippy. I love that it, it, it really, it goes on like a cream, but then it sets to a, a really sort of dry matte. So it's great mm. for the girl that has, you know, that kind of bleeding that happens around the lips yes. when you put on a lip color, especially a pigmented one. Okay, let's see what Vivian K thought. Smash box. Always cream to matte lipstick, and we're doing it in boss. Boss. Let's see how it goes. 
coffee. It's still on. Okay, let's do the cup test. Cheers. Still on. Now I'm eating. Stays on. Stays on. Stays on. It's on. It stays on. And that's the thing about this. This is great if you have like a speaking engagement, mm. a date where you don't want to have to worry about your lips moving around. Yeah. Um, so as you can see, this really just does stand the test of time. Now you've got other tips that we can yes. use to really make whatever we're using a little bit more long lasting. Yes. You need to help your long wear lips. If you don't, yeah. they won't last. Right. So again, putting that treatment on the evening before, I always keep a treatment on my bedside table. Me too. Right? Mm -hmm. You have to do that. The other tip is to make sure that you're putting on a lip liner. A lot of women put on lipsticks. A lipstick is not complete without a lip liner. Yeah. I think a good nude shade that's waterproof is perfect for every lip color in your makeup bag. It's so needed. Mm -hmm. Feather it right onto the lips, apply that lip color on top, and it just creates that perfect border to mm. really help it last. Okay. The next tip is, and I find a lot of women don't do this, is blotting your lips. It's okay. kind of like a, a step that you just want to avoid, but it really makes a difference and how the lipstick lasts. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna get you to help me if you don't Yeah, mind. I'm gonna help you. Okay, so I have a lippy on, obviously. Yeah, so good. to blot it, typically you would just do like the normal blot that we all see yeah. or, you know, the sort of kiss, mm -hmm. right? But this is a new way to do it that really will help it last. So I'm gonna put it over my lips and I'll get you to pick up a large brush there. They're all and, so pretty. Thank you. And dip into the loose, translucent powder. I'm yeah. gonna put it over my lips and then you're just gonna blot over my lips. Like that? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. Don't even worry. Okay. That's, that, that's part <laughs> of it. She knows exactly what I did. Don't right? I got some worry. of the loose par powder. Hold on a second. Mm -hmm. I got some of the loose powder on your shirt, baby girl. There I'm we sorry. go. But you know what? My lips are going to last and they're going to look fantastic. And oh, you can so just go that's like this. how you do it. Yes. I have never tried it uh, that way. And yes. usually I'm actually, like you said, I don't blot at all. So I really like that. And the thing is, too, is when you're doing your makeup, it's always great to just dust a little bit on before you start, too. Very nice. The last step is just setting spray. It's okay. going to absorb that oil. Very yeah. good. Yeah. Brittany, thank you so much. You can find details on her lasting lipstick finds up on our website, cityline.tv.